obviously line of duty, you know, there's a different case each season, but do you harbour any hope that you might be included when they start filming again? It'd be always lovely to, uh, to come back, but I think, you know, at the end of the day, the regulars are AC12, and, you know, you get your uh, your story, you know, which is the who done it and why done it, and, you know. So, I mean, of course it'd be lovely, but I can't see how my character would, but, you know. I've got to ask um, briefly about the A word. Oh, yes, please do. Honestly, the response to that has always been tremendous. Yeah. We get such positive feedback from it. Do you, do you think there'll be any more? I think... I hope there will be more. I think I think we've got because we've always planned on sort of doing it like every two years. So it's not like a continuation. It's times changed. Joe's grown up, um, and it's it just it's a special one because it's such a lovely job. We as a cast and crew, we just we adore it uh, because Pete Bowker is such a brilliant writer. Um, yeah, we, we, we just we hope that it'll go on forever and ever, I think. So, fingers crossed. That Have you had any out. conversations? Is it kind of just like a, oh, yeah. an I understanding think... that it could come back? Yeah, I mean, I think as far as Pete's concerned, it'd be like a boyhood, you know, where you sort of like, we'll go into his mid-twenties, you know, if we could. Absolutely, yeah. I'm sure there'll be lots of people who are very happy to hear that. I hope so, I hope so, yeah. And obviously, the other series that you're, you know, you've been a big part of on the BBC is George Shentley. That came to a rather dramatic conclusion. Did you watch it when it went out? Yeah, well, we actually saw it before it went out, like, um, you know, when it, when it did. But, um, but yeah, no, I mean, filming that last scene was... Uh, we'd done it ten years, you know. And me and Martin and Lisa, eventually, we all, we all got on brilliantly well. And, yeah, it was the end of a bit of an era, really, you know. And, yeah, I mean, I'd miss it. It was such a lovely job to do. And, again one of those jobs where just people just became a bit of a family on set and yeah it was a, it was a lovely job. Are you sad to see it go out in you know such conclusive fashion? I think they're going back. I think better to go out on a on a on a on a flying explosion rather than just sort of like well you know that case is solved are we going to go again you know so I thought I think we decided that let's go out on a, on a definite end and, uh, and wrap it up, yeah. The last thing I want to ask you about is Innocent. Innocent. Your big drama coming up. Yeah, Can yeah, you yeah. just, you know, tease a little bit of that? Tell us what it's about. So Innocent is a four-part drama for ITV. Um, essentially, it's about a guy who gets released on a technicality after three trials and he can't come to a decision either way and he's been inside for seven years for the murder of his wife and gets released and it's about him proving him innocent the case trying to establish if he actually did do it and if not who and him reconnecting with his kids and also his in-laws who have taken guardianship of his kids not wanting to relinquish that I bet it's much more complicated than it actually is, but it's really... Chris Lang wrote it, and it's again, it's a really lovely, emotional, kind of family thing. thing. You know what I mean? <laughs> and also, I mean you, you often play the good guy. You're playing the potentially very bad guy here. How is, how's that? Oh, it's always a great to play a villain, I think. Yeah, why not? <laughs> In my eyes, it kind of draws a bit of comparison to Liar, which is on ITV earlier this year, you know, the did he do the awful thing yeah, or didn't absolutely. he do the awful yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah. There was such a huge audience for that. Are you excited by the potential that there could be a huge audience for this as well? well I think with Liar, you sort of like, you thought he was innocent. You know, you kind of go, oh, he's such a lovely guy. And it goes the other way. And I think with him, you sort of, you're, you're, you're not given anything. So you go, well, you know, He's a, quite an angry man, vicious. So, prove me that he's innocent rather than prove me that he's guilty.